Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are viewing, viewing from. Today is another video and as always, this will be a walkthrough because I'm presently at the Aberdeen community and I'm way, way, way near the coast or the Cape as I'm presently at the Cape Lighthouse, which is, um, I think, a compound that is operated and owned by the Sierra Leone Ports Authority but I'll try and switch the camera around so you guys can see where I am at and try to and I'll try to describe exactly where I'm presently at so this is the Cape Road and that is the Ports Authority compound that is the lighthouse as just a few walks down that side is um the edge of the water or the bay as you guys can hear from the background the waves are crashing and this is where i'll start the video today and we are going to try and see if we'll be able to explore this cape road aberdeen or this cape coast aberdeen community and hopefully try and go as far as aberdeen road but as this community is it is a very very large com community but you will never know unless you try and walk around it but yeah so this is the view as you guys can see some of the, those buildings some are hotels and some i think are guest guest houses i think there's a hotel at the bay around the edge of that side and i think it's called the bay the bay hotel but we'll continue and also i'll try and attach a few photos that i took of a new hotel that will think that i think will reopen um i think early or mid february of next year and um, the hotel is called the lead hotel uh, i happened to spend a few hours there yesterday and you guys will see from the photos it is a very 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 nice and unique hotel which i think will really 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 be something else as it is a very nice and reliable hotel but I'll post the video and then try to show you guys exactly how the inside how the inside is because um when I entered I tried to talk to the guy at the counter who, who tried to explain to me that they are partially open and they will be fully functional or operational in February of next year but if possible I'll find some time and squeeze some of these photos that I took in this particular video so you guys can see exactly what I was talking about and as you guys can see I think this side of the Cape Road is not that paved but this is where I will start the video and this particular area of the country I think this particular area is um, one of the largest concentrations of um, I think hotels, beach bars and guest houses and restaurants around the country but we'll see and as always I'm sorry for the dis distortion or the coarseness of the tone of my voice as the Hamilton wind is currently blowing very hard and especially at Aberdeen at the Cape or at the Cape Coast. This is Kalila Drive. I think this is their transformer. I think this transformer starts the whole area but we are here and I'll try as much as possible and try to have a video of all the hotels that are particularly located at this particular road but we are walking and if, po if possible I'll try and show you guys exactly the hotel that i was explaining or i was telling you guys about it's called the lead it's called the lead hotel and the resort which i'll try and attach 
the few photos that I took because I tried to meet the guy at the reception and try to ask him if he would grant me um, a review of the hotel but he said they are not fully operational yet as they are partially opened and they will be fully operational I think he says um, in February but in February of next year so yeah so this particular road I think it leads to the Hotel Bamoy and there's also a, an area around this side which I don't think we are going to have the time to walk in depth inside that's called Soso Village and we are still walking like I said um, the hotel and resort that I was describing the lead hotel it's a very 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 nice hotel and I really 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 recommend it for those of you guys that are still in town and contemplating or thinking about changing the particular hotel where you are because believe me at this particular side of the country there are a lot of hotels at this particular side of the country and you can try as much as much as you like or you can try the different types of hotels and try to see the different services that are available on offer and basically um if possible you can hotel hop even because if that is the word i'll say you can hotel hop because there are a lot of hotels around this particular area i mean you you guys will be spoiled spoiled for choice as i will try and have a picture of the different hotels that are at this particular side of the country i am presently at aberdeen at the cape coast or the cape road i think this is another hotel so like i was describing to you guys this is i think this is the hotel that i will tell you guys about i think this side is yet to be completed just like i mentioned the last time this side is yet to be completed but we'll leave this side for now i think this is the entrance to the lagunda hotel or the mamba point lagunda resort i think um there are different facilities inside if i can try and walk close to there just try to have a snapshot of or uh, uh, a list of some of the facilities or establishments that are there i think there is um the mamba point hotel the lagunda casino the Meza and more lebanese restaurant campachi sushi and seafood bar i don't know if you guys can see scarlet nightclub and lounge and lagunda cinema and theaters but i'll stop at this particular gate as so these facilities are housed inside this particular fence but i'll just stop here and then try to do um away with or try to continue with the video but this is the entrance to the mamba point lagunda resort like i described to you guys so as as i was saying the hotel that i was describing to you guys the lead hotel this is I think this is where it ends and I think this other building I think this there will be a casino that will be built at this particular side but the lead hotel I think this is where it stops I think cons construction is still on the way as it is yet to be completed like I told you guys but I'll try and attach um, some of the images that I took yesterday when I had the opportunity of of being inside the facility but yeah we'll continue the video we'll continue the vid video like i said as you as you guys can see this is the building it is yet to be completed and it will be a very 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 large hotel and resort it will be a very large hotel and resort i think this 
phase is not com completed, but I think this all other side is completed. That other side is completed and still walking, still here at Cape Road. So I think this is the compound of the lead hotel as you guys can see you can see the L the lead hotel the hotel that I was describing this is the compound I'll try and attach the photo that I took um, I'll say it, um, either after I posted this video or I'll try and attach it at the end of the video so this is the entrance of the hotel this is the main entrance of the hotel this is the main entrance of the hotel the lead hotel but we'll continue the video this is the entrance as you guys can see so if i can stand here and just try and show you guys the sign it's called the lead business living the lead hotel and resort but we'll continue the video and then like i said we'll try and see how far we'll be able to go with this video because i think the aberdeen fishing community is close by we'll try and see if we'll pay them a visit try to have a few video of the particular fishing village which i think it's a very very small one at that but we'll see i think this is also another i think this will be i think an extension of the leon casino this will be an extension of the leon casino it will be an extension of the leon casino as the leon casino is a very 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 large building but we are still here walking try to see how best we'll be able to cover or document the Aberdeen community today as I said this video will be a very very long one as how I am planning to walk all the way to Aberdeen so this is the Grand Leon Casino this is the Leon Casino And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, share to as many of your contacts as possible and comment. And I'm apologizing for any distortion or coarse tone of my voice as we are still here. And I think I'm up. This is the Aberdeen roundabout. I think. This is the Leon Spa restaurant, as you guys can see. This is the home in Leon Casino and Jackpot Palace. That is the Leon Spa. Still here. And like I was describing, at this particular area, you will never have a difficulty in trying to select the particular hotel, guest house, or or restaurant here. Yeah. You want to have a good time or stay like i said you will be very very spoiled for choice as there are a lot of hotels it's it it will only depend on 
the amount or the type of accommodation that you are looking for, maybe it will be, uh, or maybe you will opt for a budget option, or maybe you will opt for the more expensive side of things. But whichever option you choose, you'll have a very, very, very great time. So I am still here and I have just approached the Tambakula Wharf, which um, I think is the wharf that is located at the roundabout of Aberdeen. And I just try and ask if I will be able to speak to the harbour master of the wharf. But I think he had wanted to say a few of his thoughts or to say a few things that I think is affecting the wharf but he says um, the hammer sound is seriously affecting his voice so he says he will not be able to say anything for now but I'll just try and have a few recording of this particular area and then we'll proceed with the video and this particular wharf is called the Tambakula Wharf it is located at the roundabout of Aberdeen and as you guys can see, the hotel that I was describing, the lead hotel, the lead hotel is at the background, but this is the Tambakul Wharf. as you guys can see, the different boats and all, the different boats and all. So, this is exactly where we are, just to take a few mom moments and then we'll continue the video, as you guys can see, fishermen trying to mend or repair the net I think there is a very small makeshift market there there is a small makeshift market there but we'll continue the video I just try and say um, let me just don't do a video of this particular area and then just try and brush off this particular side of the Aberdeen community so I'll just try and have a view of the boats these different boats that are parked I think these are some of the boats that they usually use to go out at sea and catch fish but for now I think they are all docked I think they are all docked and most of them I think are damaged as you can see most of them are damaged and this is where I think I'll stop and then we'll try and continue the video at the main road but like I said you guys can see I think in the distance that is the Lagunda complex or hotel and resort that I was describing earlier that I was describing earlier but yeah this is well, we'll stop for now and then we'll try and continue the video and then see how far we'll be able to end with today's video. But yeah, we'll continue. We'll continue the video and as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, share comment to as many of your contacts as possible and we continue and I think most of you guys will be wondering I think most of you guys will be wondering why I am taking this particular straight road ahead because I think I had already done a video of that other side but today this is exactly where I want to focus on we'll try and cover this particular area and try and see if it will be possible for us to reach uh, the destination that I planned for this particular video which is the Aberdeen Road but yeah we are still here and this compound the Family Kingdom Resort is housed inside this compound which I think will not be able to view because of the high fence and 
coming very close uh, in the distance I'll be able to try and show you guys um, the Radisson Blue Hotel which was formerly called um, the Mamioko Hotel but I think it is now being operated by the by the Radisson Blue Group which is a hotel chain or brand that has that has um, various hotels I think in Europe the Americas and other parts of the world but we are fast approaching the Radisson Blue compound which I think it's one of the best hotels around this area it's I think it's a five-star hotel but we'll not be able to go inside as we'll just try and walk past it but as it is a very huge and important hotel I just want to show you guys exactly where it is located um, if I can describe it I would say it is close to um, let me say um, the Family Kingdom Resort and the Radisson Blue Hotel I think both of these um, and um, both of these establishments I think they share a fence which I think there is just a demarcation between both of them. I think this is the entrance. This is the entrance of the Radisson Blue Hotel. I think that is the way out. Or I don't know which is which, but I think that is the entrance and think this is the way out. Yeah, so if I can stop here and try to zoom in. So you guys can see it's a very, very large hotel. As we'll not be able to view it entirely as it is covered by different types of trees, mango trees, a coconut tree, a guava, and other trees. But this is where it's located. I think this whole, I think it starts from there all the way down. But the main building is right in front here, but we cannot see it as it is been blocked by the various trees that are planted in the compound but we'll continue the video i think there's also another hotel here i think it's called the solar hotel which i think it is straight i think this is the entrance i think it goes straight through which i think we'll not be able to see because of the huge trees I think it is at the Man of War Bay. That is where it is located, there. But we are still here. <coughs> Excuse me. We are still here, and as always, don't forget to subscribe, 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 like, comment, and share to as many of your contacts as possible. And Apologies again for the tone of my voice, as you guys have already noticed. It's somehow caused today as the Hamatan winds are causing a havoc on my tone of voice. But yeah, we are still here. And like I said, I think this is also another entrance of the Radisson Blue Hotel. This one is also another entrance of the Madison Blue Hotel. But we are still here. We are still here. I think this is a car dealership. Uh, a lot that I think there are used cars that are parked, which I think they are for sale. They are for sale. So one of my subscribers was trying to ask me the last time um, 
if the visa fee for I think mm, for those that are arriving without a visa or for the cost of the visa on arrival fee which I think it's around $80 which I think the cost is still the same the cost is still the same and what you need to do to have that you just have to have your necessary doc documents and then try and see if the hotel you will be staying at or the person that is receiving you he or she will also need to su submit some of the documents that are required by the silent immigration and then you are good to go so we are still here we'll try and take a walk if possible try to walk all the way to Aberdeen Road but for now we are still here we are still here for now still here I think this is an advert for an apartment Valley Residential Hotel I think this is it this is the building the Valley Residential or the Valley Residences and Hotel this is it I think it's still under construction not completed yet It is still under construction and completed it, which I think it is very, very huge. Start from there and then all the way past the signboard. So I am still here and I'm presently at the Aberdeen roundabout, which I think has been recently redesigned as you guys can see but I'll try and have a view for you guys so you guys can see exactly what I am describing this is the roundabout and it is very very huge I think this side and that other side which I think in order for me to have a very good shot of it I'll have to go um, I'll have to use this route and then all, all the way try and see if I can be able to do a roundabout walk of the entire area so i'll try and cross and then see how far we'll be able to capture exactly how this particular area is i think this is a bank and i also think there is a very huge mall around this particular area which i think it is somewhere around here it is somewhere around here but I think this is the Axe and Grill and Restaurant. And this is the Big to Money Drive. It goes all the way there, I think. So this is the Bintumani Drive. I think it goes all the way there. And there, this is the Home Suite Hotel. I don't think I'll be able to have a clear shot of it, but I hope you guys can see it exactly. The Home Suite Hotel, which is located at the turntable of the main roundabout at Aberdeen. So we'll try and cross and see. We'll try and cross and see how far we'll be able to take this particular video. And um, there's also a bank at this turntable or roundabout. There's also a bank at this turntable or round, round, roundabout. As you guys can see, there are a lot of shops, a lot of enterprises around. As it is coming to the new year, as we are about to close 2022, I just want to say Happy New Year 
in advance to all of you guys all of my subscribers i hope you guys continue to support and patronize the channel and we'll try and see how best we'll, we'll be able to grow the channel come 2023 from where it is presently at i think this this is a bank Is the bank and this is the route we are going to take i'm just going to walk straight and then use that main road that leads straight to the aberdeen road this is vista bank i think the vista bank and the guarantee trust bank are close or side by side I think this is the GT Bank and I think that, that other building is the Vista Bank. As you guys can see, this roundabout or turntable has been recently redesigned with sculptures and other artworks. I think this is also a branch of the Mark Farm Pharmacy, which is a pharmacy that has branches in almost every area or region of the country. That is the Mark Farm Pharmacy drugstore. This is the Bondu's WhatsApp Express. So like i said initially this will be a very 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 long video and i hope you guys will bear with me i hope you guys will bear with me so i am still here that is the bondu whatsapp grill and fast food it is an eatery or a restaurant this is thomas compound i think it's this all the way here all the way down i think when you go there's also another drive that you meet. I think that drive is called Calon Drive. But we'll continue the video as our plan is to have a walk, if possible, as far as Aberdeen. But we continue as this is the side we are going to take. We are still here. I think this was where um, Abet, which is um, a local transport provider, this is where most of the buses are packed. Abet, this is their compound where most of their, their buses that usually take people to um, Bo, Ken, Kenema and other destinations but we are still here and I am presently at South Samuel Lewis Road, Aberdeen and I am planning to walk all the way to the junction of Aberdeen Road but we are still here we are still here and as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, share to as many of your contacts as possible. And we continue the video. And like I said, there are a lot of hotels at this particular side of the country, which, as I em em emphasize, will really, really be spoiled for choice as the areas that I've already filmed, as you guys can see, there are a lot of hotels, a lot of guest houses where you will have a great time in lodging and 
in terms of accommodation, be it um, on the expensive side or the budget option, but we'll see as we are still at South Samuel Lewis Road. This is a filling station. I think it is operated by one of the petroleum companies in the country. It's called Conex. <coughs> Excuse me. It's called Conex, which I think it's a new petroleum company that has recently um, had branches in the country. But I don't know how recent it, it, it was, but this is one of their service stations. And still here at South and Lewis Road. And as always, this is a very prime location or destination, as you guys can tell. You can hardly see, or you can hardly have a full view of both of the houses on both sides of the road. <coughs> on both sides of, of the road, as you guys can see as most of the compounds are fenced most of the compounds are fenced but yeah this is South Samuel Lewis Road and I'm planning to walk all the way to Aberdeen Road we'll try and see if that will be possible but for now we are still here still walking I think these posters were recently put up by the government I think admonishing citizens to have their national identity cards I think this is um, the Christian aid compound or building at Aberdeen this is their compound and this is also another ET or restaurant barbecue it's at 49 South Samaritan Road Still here, still walking, and I'm um, doing the vlog. And this particular video today, I think it will really, really show you um, that there are two sides of, or if I can say there are two sides or two stories to every country as no one country is perfect every country has its issues or its challenges but I can say mine is doing pretty pretty well in improving its reputation as that of a friendly one of the most peaceful parts or regions of Africa and in terms of business I think Sierra Leone is a very 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 hot destination for those that are looking to invest or trying to see where exactly they will park their money and have a good return on their investment as you guys saw from the video that I took of the Cape Road at Aberdeen there are a lot of hotels being built a lot of establishments being open and some of these hotels or, or establishments will once they are completed they will really 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 try and help the whole economic of the country and that is exactly what we want to see the hammer town is really 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 having an impact on me today but I'll try my best and and complete the video for you guys today as 
it is really 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 blowing the Amatan winds is really rough especially at this particular side of the country which is at Aberdeen I mean here it's very 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 cold as it is very close to the water or the sea This is also a car dealership. I think it's called LAJ Show. As you guys can see, used high end SUVs, a Lexus, a Forerunner, a GMC, and all. I think this is a terrain, a GMC terrain. Used vehicle. And as always, Sorry for the distortion or shakiness of the camera and I hope you guys can see both sides of the street as clear as possible. This is a boutique. This is um, a foreign exchange bureau. And just like the video that I did of the eastern part of the country, you can tell most of the houses at this particular road you can if you guys are not not noticing a very very tall building or most of the businesses are at the main entrance or at the downstairs near the road or at the main road still here at Sir Samuel Lewis Road and I think this is a mosque that is yet to be completed. We continue the video. This is a video of Sir Samuel Lewis Road, where I'm presently at and recording. I think this is the building of SAS Logistics, if you guys can see it, SAS Logistics. I think this is the building. Still here, still recording. So this is the Johnson Lane, it goes all the way inside. I hope you guys can hear me clearly as I am at the main Sassam and Lewis Road, which is a very, very busy one. This road leads to Aberdeen Road and ultimately ends to destinations at the city centre. But We are still here, try to see if it will be possible to have a recording of the Aberdeen Road Junction, but if not possible, I'll see where I will stop the video for today, but we are still here, still recording, just trying to give you guys a glimpse of exactly how the South Samuel Lewis Road is. The Italian consulate is somewhere around here. This is a pharmacy. This is a beauty salon, Infinity Glow. This is Excel the management company or the management services firm they are building I think this is 
to fix high-tech garage which I think they repair high-end vehicles they repair high-end vehicles they repair high-end vehicles or recent vehicles that that are usually having issues still have still walking I think the Al Shifa Air Clinic I think it is down here or it is supposed to be around here Sorry for the noise as this is the main road and it is very 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 noisy. It is very very noisy and I hope you guys can hear me clearly but So this is the Save the Children compound, the NGO, this is their compound. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we are also approaching another car dealership and <clears throat> we are also approaching one of um, the fastest ways or means of traveling to and from the Lunga airport which is um, the Sea Coach Express or the Sea Bird their building which is usually the stop or the loading dock where passengers that are usually going to and from Bunge those that want to arrive there they are latest or the faster fast <coughs> excuse me fastly approaching the sea coach express building but i think that is where we'll stop the video for today if possible but if not we'll try and extend the video as far as the aberdeen Road junction I think a car is being panel beaten or oh, its panel is being arranged. So still here trying to record, record, record and 
we are coming at the end of the video i think i'll stop the video at this main aberdeen bridge this is where i'll stop the video i'll just try and show you guys the sea coach express building or the building where the sea coach express water taxi where it's usually dock and where it usually takes off to carry passengers to the Lunge International Airport but this is the entrance that is the building this is the entrance to the building I'll just try and have a video or a shot of the water and I think a ship that is very very filled with containers is just passing as you guys can see it is just passing it is in the distance as I try to zoom it as you guys can see it is passing but yeah we'll just try and have a view of the water that is where the sea coach express usually docked after it has brought passengers from the Lunge International Airport but yeah so this is the view here as the boat or the ship that I described is still there the ship is still there but that is where as I said the sea coach express usually parks as you guys can see there are other boats that are docked around the water but we'll continue the video and we are coming to the end of the video i think i'll stop the video at this main aberdeen bridge which is at sasama lewis road that is where i will stop the video for today and hopefully another time try and have a video of the main aberdeen road junction and then also a video of the um the Aberdeen and also try to have a video of the Morin Town community but yeah this is Ishwari and Sons I think it's a supermarket I think it is recently opened and this is also another very nice building So I'll try and have a shot of both sides of the bridge and then we'll try and end the video. We'll try and end the video but we are still here almost coming to the end of the video. This is the Aberdeen Bridge as I said the sea coach. And the sea coach, all I can say about it is um, it is um, one of the fastest ways or means to be or arrive at the Lunge International Airport. And but there are other options such as um, the ferry crossing at um, at ferry junction, which is at the city center but for now this is where i am at and i'll try and have a video of the ferry at ferry junction maybe sometime this week before the year ends but for now i'll stop the video at this particular bridge as this is one side this is the side to my left and i'll try and as you guys can see boats are docked maybe they are about to leave that is another one that i think is about to leave and you guys can see the shot off of the water
subscribe of the Aberdeen Bridge. I think if you guys can see, I think over there is um, the Cochrane community. I think both the Cochrane North and South, they are in the distance. I think this other side is part of um, the Cochrane Bay and other area, areas of the Aberdeen. sea line or the Aberdeen shoreline so this is where I will stop the video for today and hopefully try and catch you guys again at the next one but this is where I'll stop the video for today and I'll just try and walk if possible to the end of the bridge and then end the video here but as always thank you guys for coming along with me and i'll try and see you guys again at the next video but until then